And like a lunatic, she's saying the American fighting force will be a lethal force spreading democracy abroad. I mean, is this George W. Bush or Kamala Harris? This this points again to the to the contrast between the team of people that President Trump is assembling, uh, people who come from different political backgrounds, but who are completely aligned in this cause of freedom, in this cause of the pursuit of peace, recognizing that war should be a last resort. Uh, And this includes Democrats and independents and, of course, Republicans, whereas you look at Kamala Harris she is a complete war hawk. She is a complete warmonger, a disciple of the queen of warmongers and Hillary Clinton herself. And the few Republicans that they gathered on that stage at the Democratic convention were more of the neocon war hawks and warmongers from Washington, people like Adam Kinzinger and others. So again, this is not about Democrats versus Republicans. This is about uh, a president who is who values the lives of of every one of our servicemen and women, and who understands the seriousness of the responsibility of serving as commander in chief, willing to do what is necessary, whether that means going and meeting Kim Jong-un in the pursuit of peace or working with allies and partners and friends. That is not something Kamala Harris is willing to do. She criticized President Trump for having the courage to go and have that conversation and conduct those negotiations. Uh, she she is being controlled by the national security state, the deep state, the military industrial yes. complex, once again, which told her to say those things on that debate stage, showing us all who she really is controlled by and who've been controlling Joe Biden and this White House over these last three and a half years.